Mercury Marine, founded in 1939, is a division of Brunswick of Lake Forest, Illinois, in the United States. Mercury provides engines for private, commercial and government sales, primarily for small boats. Mercury Marine's primary business is outboard motors. Mercury outboards, 30 horsepower and less, are made by Toyatsu in Japan. Mercury Marine builds 40, 50 and 60 horsepower outboard motors in Shizhou, China. Mercury also manufactures engines over 75 horsepower at its facility in Fond du Lac, Wisconsin in the United States. Mercury also makes the MER Cruiser line of stand drives and inboard motors. Mercury Racing is the company's division for racing engines tailored for power and speed. Company Beginnings The company began when engineer Carl Kickhafer purchased a small outboard motor company in Cedarburg, Wisconsin. Kickhafer's original intention for the Kickhafer Corporation was to make magnetic separators for the dairy industry. The purchase included 300 defective outboard motors. Kickhafer and a small staff of employees rebuilt the motors and sold them to Montgomery Ward, a mail order company. The motors were much improved, so the buyer purchased more. Kickhafer designed motors that withstood the elements better than his competition and called the motor Mercury after the Roman god. Kickhafer took more than 16,000 orders at the 1940 New York Boat Show. World War II World War II changed the corporate climate, and Kirkhafer sought a government contract to design two-man air-cooled chainsaws. Army engineers were unable to design a lightweight motor. Kirkhafer designed a new lightweight chainsaw in two months. The Kirkhafer power chainsaw was able to cut through a 24-inch green log in 17 seconds, while it took the nearest competitor 52 seconds. Mercury was awarded the contract, and was the world's largest chainsaw manufacturer by the end of the war. Post-war history, Mercury foresaw that the average American's interest in boating would increase after the war. Kickhafer introduced a 19.8 cubic inch, 10 horsepower, two-cylinder alternate firing design motor at the 1947 New York boat show called the Lightning, or KE-7. This motor, also called the Super 10, actually developed around 14 horsepower. Its designation was updated to KF-7 for 1949. For 1951 the engine block, though still displacing 19 greater than 8 cubic inches, was updated a great deal, and given the name Hurricane. The 1951 kg-7 Super 10 featured this engine, which developed around 16 horsepower. For 1952, this model was updated with a Ford, neutral, reverse gear set, and a twist grip throttle. It was renamed Cruiser at this point, and no longer called Super 10. This engine later became the heart of the Mark 25, of the mid to late 50s. Initially rated at 16 horsepower, this engine was soon beefed up to 20. There was also an H version, which produced more power but carried no rating. H version Mercuries were mostly used for racing. In 1949, the company also introduced its first large outboard, the approximately 40 cubic inch, four cylinder in line, Thunderbolt. This engine was rated at 25 horsepower, but actually put out around 28. There was soon an H version designed for higher PM use. This version put out nearly 40 horsepower, while being rated at 25 plus. The Thunderbolt engine benefited from upgrades and updates eventually becoming the Mark 40, Mark 50, and Mark 55 engines of the mid and late 50s. All of these were rated quite accurately at 40 horsepower. The Mark 55H developed more, but carried no rating. Due to a rather large gap between the Mark 25 and the Mark 55, Mercury brought out the 4 in line, approximately 30 cubic inch Mark 30 engine for 1956, and produced versions of its turbo 4 engine for several years. It too, was available as an H version, producing lots of extra horsepower for racing and sporting use. While these Mark engines carried number names which were not horsepower ratings, not displacement numbers, and not consistent from one motor to another, is a real mystery. Why was the 20 horsepower Mercury a Mark 25, and the 40 horsepower Mercury a Mark 55? 
while the 30 horsepower job was the Mark 30. No one really knows. Of course, there were also smaller Mercs during both the K era and the Mark era, such as the Super 5, and later, such engines as the Mark 6, and the Mark 10. Equals NASCAR Racing equals. Kick Hafer decided to promote his company by owning a NASCAR and AAA team. The team dominated NASCAR Grand National, even though it only competed in 1955 and 1956. The team won the 1955 and 1956 NASCAR championships with drivers Tim Flock and Buck Baker. One of Kirk Hafer's innovations was using dry paper air filters, which are still standard in automobiles today. Equals 1950s through 1970s equals, in 1957 Kirk Hafer started testing at a Florida lake he called Lake X to keep the location secret. Later that year the company designed a new inline six-cylinder, 60 cubic inch, 60 horsepower motor named Mark 75. Like its two and four cylinder brethren, the Mark 75 featured internal reed valves. The reed valve blocks served as intermediate main bearings. Because the valves occupied space already necessary for the main bearings instead of mounting to an extension of the crankcase, crankcase volume was minimized, resulting in a higher crankcase compression ratio and more power in proportion to displacement than the competition. Mercury's first six-cylinder engines featured direct reversing. Instead of a lower unit with forward, neutral and reverse gears, its lower units were more compact, with only drive and driven gears, and no submerged shift mechanism required. Reverse was selected by turning off the engine and restarting it in opposite rotation, and neutral by simply switching off. Mark 75s, like many of their smaller Brett Hen, were available in an H version. Many of these large H motors sported open headers for competition and produced 90 horsepower from 60 cubic inches. Two totally stock Mark 75 set a world endurance record on Lake X, running 50,000 miles at an average of 30.3 miles per hour, while being refueled on the fly. For 1958, an enlarged version of this engine was introduced. The new Mark 78 boasted 70 horsepower from 66 cubic inches of displacement. No H version was offered. Also in 1958, a stock Mark 75H set a new world speed record for outboard motors, of 107 miles per hour. When Mercury's top of the line, 80 horsepower model Merc 800 was introduced for 1960, direct reversing as standard equipment was optionally replaced by full Ford neutral and reverse gear shifting, as on Mercury's two- and four-cylinder models, and through-hub exhaust was introduced. Previously, as with other outboard brands and Mercury's smaller models, exhaust exited from a chute at the rear of the cavitation plate above the propeller. Through-hub exhaust was claimed to be more efficient by emitting the added drag of an exhaust chute, and using the low-pressure area necessarily created by the gear housing and propeller moving through the water to assist in exhaust evacuation. Over the next several years, through-hub exhaust became a standard feature of all Mercury models, and later was adopted near industry-wide for both outboards and stern drives. In 1961 the company merged with a Brunswick Corporation. The company introduced the MER Cruiser stern drive line at the 1961 Chicago Boat Show. The line would later take over 80% of the world market. For 1962, the Merck 1000 became the new top of the line in Line 6, offering 100 horsepower. It was somewhat of a sensation. It also introduced the new Phantom Black paint scheme which soon spread to the entire line and became famous. In 1966, six-cylinder Mercury models featured the introduction of electronic ignition, another first that eventually became an industry standard. Carl Kirchhofer resigned as president of Kirchhofer Mercury in 1969, and the name was changed to Mercury Marine. During this time, Mercury produced snowmobiles, like many other companies in the late 1960s. The first ones incorporated a 250cc two-man chainsaw engine. In 1971, they came out with the rocket and lightning models. These sleds combined aluminum tunnels with Canadian Curtis Wright engines. The rocket was a 340, and the lightning a 400 with electric start. 
By 1972, Mercury started production of the Hurricane, a more modern snowmobile with optional with slide rail suspension. In 1974 Mercury introduced the Snow Twister 400cc snowmobile designed primarily for racing. It featured a cola free air engine and succeeded in dominating the 400cc's class. In 1975 Mercury introduced 340cc's and 440cc's versions of the Snow Twister and both were dominant at the track. 1976 saw a change in the Snow Twister, this time 250cc's, 340cc's, and 440cc's versions were all introduced. These were radical for their time and were the result of Mercury Snow Pro sleds developed and raced the previous year. These 1976 sleds were featured water-cooled Kola engines. The chassis was small, lightweight, very low profile, with curved handlebars and seat cushions that were designed for left turns. In 1975 and 1976 Mercury also produced the Trail Twister snowmobiles which were available in 340cc and 440cc which were fan-cooled. These were some of the fastest lake races around in their day. This started off a new era in snowmobile construction for the whole industry and the sled's basic format set up what is seen today in modern snowmobiles. Mercury was renowned in the 1970s as one of the best racing and performance snowmobile manufacturers, as well as an industry leader in marine engine production. Snow twisters and trail twisters are highly sought after sleds due to their ahead of the time design, power, and unique styling. Engine specifications Present day. At present, Mercury product brands include Mercury, Mercury Racing, MER Cruiser, and Mariner Outboards. Outboard sizes range from 2.5 horsepower to 350 horsepower. MER Cruiser stin drives and inboards range from 100 to 450 horsepower, and Mercury Racing Outboards produce up to 350 horsepower and stin drives to 1,200 horsepower. Subsidiaries include Mercury Precision Parts and Accessories as well as Mercury Propellers and Mercury Jet Drives. In the U.S. Mercury Outboards, from 30 horsepower and below are rebadged to Atsus. Mercury has recently developed a processor-enhanced line of outboards called the Verado Outboard Engine. The Verado system integrates the outboard into an entire system, including fly-by-wire steering and advanced diagnostics. In 2007 Mercury Marine began selling its used drive system. Developed by Mercury and its joint venture company Cummins MER Cruiser Diesel, the ZUS drive is a dual-engine pod drive system. Some of the most notable benefits from this class design for boaters will be enhanced helm control. While underway an automated trim control feature simplifies operation. Also, Zeus includes Skyhook Electronic Anchor TM which will keep a vessel on a fixed heading within a tight range. The system might be called all-weather as it will keep a heading in strong currents and winds. Mercury Marine is one of the world Euro unregistered trademark S leading providers of marine propulsion. As $2.3 billion division of Brunswick Corporation, Mercury and its 6,200 employees worldwide provide engines, boats services and parts for recreational, commercial and government marine applications. Mercury a Euro unregistered trademark S brand portfolio includes Mercury and Mariner, Mercury MER cruiser stin drives and inboard engines, motor guide trolling motors, Mercury and Tainbridge propellers, Mercury inflatable boats, Mercury smart craft electronics, and Mercury and quicksilver parts and oils. Mototron Electronic Controls was also a part of Mercury Marine, but as of October 2008 Brunswick Corporation sold Mototron and its intellectual properties to Woodward Governor of Fort Collins, Company. Seacor is a brand of stand drive marine propulsion systems manufactured in the United States by MER Cruiser. The Seacor engine design utilizes materials, technologies, and systems, created specifically for Mercury Marine to prevent galvanic corrosion within its engine, transom and drive. Seacore propulsion includes models generating between 220 and 425 horsepower. Seacore is designed for a wide variety of vessels operated in or moored on salt water. Mercury Marine also provides various training programs through its training arm called Mercury University. 
References External links, Mercury Marine Official Homepage, MER Cruiser Official Homepage, Mercury Racing Official Homepage A History of Mercury Marine